a show. What a production. What a way to start off the band. The Sunshine State of Florida. The best. Thank you, West Orange. Hey, anybody, anybody in this world who knows Garfield knows that he's going to pass on turkey this Thanksgiving and head straight for the lasagna. That's his favorite dish. I hope they're serving that where you're headed for, Big Cat. Willard, you know, Garfield is not known as an up-and-atom cat. But when he heard he was going to be the first giant balloon in the parade this year, well, he roused himself to fly down Broadway just for us. Furnished by United Media, Garfield will be celebrating his 15th birthday this year. Happy birthday, big guy, and thanks for stopping by. Oh, that's nice hat, Willard. Thank you. Perfectly lovely. Put on Bob. I thought you were going to do that. like he's coming down for a crash landing, doesn't he, Willard? I think he's looking for some more food. That cat has an insatiable appetite. A cat after my own heart. And liver. <laughs> and fava beans. And a good Keonte. Cat-ante. Of San Bernita, Texas. Good old San Bernita, the Greyhound man. Thank you, ma'am. And what you see now is what you get. Clifford, the big red dog, is Macy's first life-size balloon. He's the biggest and reddest dog ever to come down the parade route. That's for sure, for sure. Rumor has it Clifford's been known to eat the whole Thanksgiving turkey at one gulp. And sounds he's looking for a huge fire plug. So I was going to say, out. sounds like you, Willard. For the third year in a row, Clifford is being led down Broadway by his owner and very best friend, Emily Elizabeth. Furnished by Scholastic Incorporated, the courteous and kind Clifford has been a favorite storybook character with children for almost 30 years. That's little Emily Elizabeth. She's Clifford cute. better step lively because right behind him are the dog catcher clowns, and they mean business, Willard. Not mean business, but mean business, right? It's gonna take a big dog catcher to catch that dog. I haven't heard that song in 50 years. I like the way he slithers down Broadway, don't you? Absolutely, Willard. I can do Hey, one of my heroes, dude. Keeping the brain step. Who better than Quick Bunny? Marching down Broadway in his spiffy band uniform. Marking time on his own bass drum. Furnished with a Nestle beverage company. Wouldn't a nice hot chocolate taste good now, Katie? Maybe yes, it would, Willard. But you know what? That is the strawberry quick bunny. Oh, it is? Yeah, not the chocolate quick. Oh, well, I like strawberry much better than chocolate you anyway. Good. Who's paying for this? The strawberry people? I... Definitely like Nestle's. strawberry better. Nestle. for this guy, anyway. Chocolate or strawberry, it's a great act. This is a big bunny, 68 feet high, 34 feet wide. Makes me look small. <laughs> and he weighs at 520 pounds. Well, there I got him. Anyway, Quick Bunny is being led down the parade route by some of those wonderful Macy's employees who give up their Thanksgiving Day to bring all of this joy to children everywhere watching. And that's the truth. Well, then we should mention that that's the award-winning country singers McBride and The Ride, and with them are the Valley Streamers. They were great, weren't they? I, I'm crazy about that kind of music. I like country music, I'll too. Do, I like to sit there. I like to do the Yankee Breaky Heart. I'd like to do it with you or either Bart Simpson. All depends on who likes to lead. Furnished by Fox Incorporated. Bart, you know, relishes his role as the center of attention on his hit television show, The Simpsons. You just check him out, folks. This is one cool dude taking in the sights as he sort of skateboards down Broadway in his third Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Smooth move, man. Hey, groovy, cool. Watch it. Watch the branches, Bart. Oh, boy. Take him down the basement. Give him something to eat at Macy's. Kid looks hungry. Willard, we're right under Bart. Isn't that terrific? Watch him make the turn. Will he make it? Is he? Incredible. <laughs> that, that. I love this guy. Good grief, it's Snoopy. And if happiness is a warm puppy, we've got him today. Check him out, folks. Furnished by United Media, Snoopy is all bundled up and skating down Broadway with his fine feathered friend, old Woodstock. Trying hard to keep up. Woodstock's just a little bird, you know. It's a cute 
bird, though, isn't he? I guess they left Charlie Brown and the rest of the Peanuts gang from behind to cook the Thanksgiving turkey. I'm telling you, it's a dog's life up there. Ain't that right, Snoopy? <laughs> Those are cute, aren't they? With little woodstocks on top I of them. I love it. I love it. I think he's isn't he wearing a headset listening to probably his favorite radio station. He likes, country, little he likes country music. Bon Jovi, maybe. I could, yeah. You gotta explain it to me. They've been crowd pleasers for a long time. Lovable, adorable characters. I love the comic strip. Got a nice message. Always a little subtle message. Two. Willard. You see what I see? Yep. Boop boopy doo. She's on her way. She's one of my favorites because she owns the moon and everything connected with it. Boop boopy doo. Is that Betty Boop popping down Broadway? On a crescent moon furnished by King Victor. You know, Betty's America's favorite sweetheart always has been for many, I bet 50 or well, 70 years close, a perennial starlet. She's making her sixth appearance on Broadway today as a Macy's giant balloon. When filled with helium, Betty measures 34, 24, 36. Yowza. I said that. Did I say that? <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, not in inches, but in feet. <clears throat> Happy holidays. Page two, well, let's read the cue card, you idiot. <laughs> nice pair of gams, huh, Willard? I'm singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. What a American soprano Jesse Norman celebrates America, and the best bands in the land play as our parade marches on. I know. Oh, well, that's life. <laughs> that's a great magazine. They're going to go full tail by this thing. Hey, if you're thinking that, uh, you know, a hero is just a meatball sandwich, well, you're dead wrong. And here comes Spider-Man to prove it, furnished by Marvel Comics and celebrating his 30th anniversary. He looks pretty good for his age. That's, thank you. Oh, you mean him. Spider-Man is America's favorite climber. I'll get that in a minute. And Macy's official superhero balloon. Check him out. He's armed, by the way, with an NBC camera right in his tummy so he can catch some great pictures for all you folks watching at home as he weaves his web of adventure down Broadway. So get him, spider baby. How was that reading? We will welcome Blossom's Jenna Von Oy, Cheech Marin, and the Woody Woodpecker Balloon when our parade continues. Today, anything could happen on this bus. I did the first break. Okay, Willard. <laughs> I love it. There he is, Walter Lance's special guy. <laughs> That's how silly gets me every time. You got it. You ready for it? All right, go ahead. Do your imitation, Willard. <laughs> there go the ratings. We thought we were hot. Love that bird, furnished by Universal Studios of Hollywood and Florida. And you know Woody Woodpecker's back for his 10th flight down Broadway today. Woody's a big favorite with the kids and all the giant balloons. Macy's balloon crews puts them together in separately sealed sections. So don't you worry. If Woody hits a tree or a building, while he's coming down the parade route, he can still fly. What a fabulous bird. <laughs> Beauty and the Beast invite you to the castle, and Goofy premieres as a giant balloon when we come back live on NBC. Hey, everything works out pretty good. You know that? It's almost stopped raining, and now we're introducing to you the newest, the latest, and greatest. <laughs> it's Goofy, our newest float, 65 feet tall and 60 years old. Goofy and I were sort of born together. Isn't he cute? Look at him, Aww. lovely boy. That's a million-dollar <laughs> smile and a million-dollar Goofy. You know, Goofy's a dog. Remember the movie Stand By Me? I didn't know Goofy was a dog until I saw that movie. Really? Everybody's trying to figure out what Goofy was. Well, he's a dog. Anyway, furnished with the Walt Disney Company, that most outrageous of Disney characters thinks he's Santa Claus today. Isn't that crazy? Isn't he's he pretty, cute? He's really cute. I know why he thinks he's Santa Claus, because he's wearing a Santa suit. Hey. He's a smart dog. That's why you're a news person. I'm just a <laughs> klutz. Oh, anyway, with his two very big left feet, Goofy's got himself all tangled up in the holiday wreath. Well, sure hope he gets himself undone before turkey time. Happy Thanksgiving, Goofy, and welcome to the greatest parade in the world, the Macy's Parade. Willard, 
Hi, Lamb Chop. I'm sorry, I get so excited when I see Sherry Lewis and Lamb Chop. I think you have a friend in your family that kind of likes Lamb Chop. That's right, a little Ellie. Hey, what? Say, what's your big idea, Doc? Here's that raucous rabbit everybody loves, the looniest of the looniest of Looney Tunes, gang. He's always been a hit and always will be. He's over 50 years of age. Warner Brothers loves him, and he's riding down Broadway on a silver carrot. Nobody does it quite like Bugs. That rabbit, I mean, he is something else. Take a look at that, the way he works on that carrot. That's good stuff, Doc. Furnished by Warner Brothers Costumers Products, he's running down Broadway on that silver carrot that Rabbit really knows how to work a crowd. I'm telling you, by the way, he's working on that carrot, too. I think I read that twice. <laughs> I do it in French. Bonjour, monsieur. Il est sombre le Rabbit. Il est sombre à le Rabbit. Il est sombre à le the biggest band I think I've ever seen in my life. A lot. A lot. Thank you. Uh-oh. Here he comes. This is the one you have to watch out for if you... Madam, Madam, would you come here? Just your doggy bite. If there's a minky in the bathroom. Well, if your doggy does not bite, then you're all right. You got him. This is our friend from Metro Golden Mayor. It's the Pink Panther dancing quietly over the trees, as you can see. Suave and sophisticated. Uh, look at that look, that intelligent look. He looks like an NBC News person. Especially those shorts. He is one cool cat. And he looks mighty cool in his swimsuit. Known as the International Jet Setter, Pink Panther must be headed for holidays, obviously. But he did forget his pants. I think somebody ought to tell him. Happy Thanksgiving, guy. Looks like the Big Panther star, the soon-to-be-released son of Big Panther, has his own personal escort down Broadway. I see lots of Inspector Glusos behind him looking for the minky. Is it the minky? He's hot on his trail, or should we say tail? Arf, arf. There goes Sandy. Hey, Willard, in my book, B stands for Big Bird. This gentle heap of flying feathers furnished by, of course, the Children's Television Workshop has taught millions of preschoolers how to read. To the delight of all the children watching our parade, Big Bird left his nest on Sesame Street to fly down Broadway today. And, of course, never one to shirk his duties, Big Bird is sporting an alphabet sweater and ABC balloons. Here comes the grand old man of Macy's balloon family. He's the happy dragon, and he's been delighting parade watchers for over 30 years, all 72 feet of him. And in the early years, you know, the parade live animals actually rode the floats, but the lions and the tigers and the bears, oh my, growling and roaring, scared the little kids a little bit. And so good old Macy's being tuned in said we better not do that and just have balloons instead, and we know what's happened since then. That's right, and I'm glad they went with the balloons, Willard. You know... when the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade continues, live on NBC. Well, yes, on that float yeah. with John Tesh was his beautiful wife, actress Connie Selica. John, of course, is an accomplished musician, and he was accompanied by violinist Charles Bisharat. And together they played John's own composition, a lullaby called In a Child's Eyes. And they've it was got beautiful, a great, wasn't they, it? They've got a great album out, too. If you heard it, it's a Christmas album, I guess that maybe was one of the songs in the album. And look, Willard, mm. that most regal of elephants, How the gentle and wise 
Babar, or to the French, Babar, has long been a favorite of children who know him from the, the beloved Babar books. Last year, Babar, furnished by Nelvana and the Clifford Ross Company, became a giant helium balloon, and his many fans persuaded him to leave his elephant kingdom to fly down Broadway again in our parade this morning. He usually has his Queen Celeste by his side, but Her Royal Highness must be at home preparing the royal holiday feast. So, happy Thanksgiving, Babar. I'm sure Babar will send you a note because elephants never forget. And that is a great show. He's one of the sweetest guys in the business. Everybody loves him. And celebrating the holiday season, Katie, it's Snuggle. If I didn't put this cute little fellow on my list, I'm going to do it right now. Furnished by Lever Brothers Company, Snuggle comes with his very own stocking. You just check him out, folks. This bear's not so little. If you consider when filled with helium as Macy's balloon, he weighs in at 300 and 12 pounds. Now that's a lot of bear, babe. The Radio City Music Hall Rockets celebrate the holiday season, and Santa Claus is getting close when the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade returns.